Hundreds of parents and children of all ages stand in line for the opportunity to cross the stage as an NICU graduate. A fun name for a NICU baby. Well done, Mom. We waited in line for about 30 minutes for my daughter to put on her little cap and just walk the stage. Um, there's there's got to be hundreds of families here. Families from across Central Texas make their way to Q2 Stadium Sunday to celebrate, support, and reunite with former NICU patients. Our little NICU grads get to celebrate their journey entering this world and how hard they had to fight to stay in it. Um, and we get to reunite with medical personnel that was in the hospital with us. It's just a long journey, and so Hand to Hold comes alongside these NICU families and walks that journey with them. Uh, we have mental health peer specialists who work in all of the NICUs. They're at their baby's bedside and supporting them through those very difficult times. Come on up. Graduates walked across the stage in green hats every hour. The ceremony served as a memorable moment and a milestone for many. The NICU is the neonatal intensive care unit. It is the ICU for teeny tiny babies. To meet your child and to become a parent in that environment, you can't picture a shiny day like today. My daughter was born at 34 weeks, weighing three pounds, 15 ounces. She had a 37 day NICU stay. She is 18 months old now. We just had a dad graduate with his son. So he told me he was in the NICU. He was born at 24 weeks and his son was born at 24 weeks. The founder says this is the second year the event has been held. The crowds are continuing to grow each year and more graduates cross the stage. Today is all about really celebrating all these NICU grads overcame and all they're yet to become, right, of reaching all of those major milestones. There were more than 400 graduates to cross the stage here at Q2 Stadium. In North Austin, I'm Tan Radford, Fox 7 Austin News.